Ho, oh, what the shit are you? What the shit are you? There's a walking tree spider. I don't like it one little bit. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Zomboland Gaming. I'm in fact Zombo Skater. And oh my goodness, there have been so many damn good games that have come out in the past month and a half, two months or so. Holy crap a moly. So, we are going to play Nightingale today. This is an early access and it's only like $26.99 on Steam right now. Maybe about $30. I got it on a little bit of a discount. Freaking awesome. I played a little bit. As you can see, I have a character created here. But we are not going to play that character because I'm... Not very far into it, but you know, farther than I want to be for starting a video. So let's go with a new profile. So, you know what? We're not going to have to talk about the gist of the game because we're going to see the gist of the game as we go through this. I'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of this stuff and things because it pretty much explains it to you uh, in each one of the steps. Essentially, we're going to pick our character and then we're going to pick the age of our character. Then we're going to pick the voice of our character. Then we're going to pick basically the, the storyline. All of our grandparents and great grandparents, uh, kind of the traits that we're gonna inherit from all of our grandparents and all that sort of stuff. And then we're gonna pick our skin colors and our hair and our head and our eyes and our mouth and our makeup and our difficulty levels. So uh, this one I will talk about. So there's a couple, like four different difficulty levels, I believe. And each one obviously makes your life easier or harder depending on how you want to go uh, i did notice uh that there is the ability to kind of change difficulty level as you enter in different realms which we will talk about later but for the time being i think we're just going to go on medium i think it's a good pace for uh everything that we want to do same thing with the realms and then we will finalize so i'm going to go do all of my character creation and then we shall come back okay here we go so i've got everything up except for the name so under basics, I went with kind of an Asian looking style, uh, chose to be 25, which looks like about a quarter of the way. It looks like you can go like, oh my God, how old can you go? <laughs> 69. Nice. All right. So we're going to be 25 years old. I have no idea if your age changes during this, but apparently I was born in 1864. Good Lord. Uh, there's only two voices currently, a male and a female voice. Uh, ancestry, uh, we're basically a hermit. We're gonna be a recluse. We like to live on the wilderness and be self-sufficient and screw everybody else. And our lineage, um, I just picked a whole bunch of random people. Um, no idea, th th there's a whole bunch of people. Like everybody that you can pick for yourself is all the same people you can pick for your, your, your relatives. So I just picked a whole bunch of random people. Uh, actually this person right here, which would be my grandparent. Um, that's actually the person that I'm playing on my other one. Um, uh, but then uh, I kind of picked, uh, on my mother's side, a more maternal, uh, inheritance of the features. So there we go. A little side look, a little front look. There we go. Uh, step two then gets into skin tone. Uh, just change the skin tone up to that one right there. Uh, uh add a little bit of redness, no scars, no tattoos yet in development. Uh, hair color, uh, clearly I went with green, <laughs> duh, uh, I have no facial hair, um, eyebrows I went with a blackish kind of color, hairstyle, uh, the little, uh, I, I have no idea what the style's called, I, I'm not a hairdresser, I don't know what styles are, that's the hairstyle, eyebrows, I kept the standard eyebrows, obviously no hair, oh my god, yes, yes, we, we <laughs> no, no, there's none, none, take it away, take it away, head, um, I changed nothing, nose, changed nothing, jawline, changed nothing, uh, eyes, uh, I just did the uh, kind of uh, the, the preset colors there. Gave her kind of a cool little ring uh, inside of her eye there. One of her eyeballs is way bigger than the other. That is weird. Um, details, you can see these are the three colors I picked here. Oh my God, you can do right and or left eye. I just now noticed that. Uh, eye shape didn't change. Eyelashes didn't change. Mouth I didn't change. <laughs> That's goofy. Teeth I didn't change, but that is fucking hilarious. Uh, makeup, I just changed up the colors and the intensity a little bit. Uh, same with the uh, eyeshadow. Uh, eyeliner I didn't change. Uh, eyelashes didn't change. Lips I added the color. Uh, that's about it. Uh, step three, difficulty. Like I said, we're going with medium uh, for both the realm and our equipment. I think that we're going to be able to, to cover that pretty well. There's basically easy, medium, hard, and extreme. And as you can see, our starting gear kind of changes. Uh, so we'll be able to deal with, oh, look at that sweet, sweet shirt. Um, it just kind of helps us start out, right? So finalize, let's go. And let us name her Esmeralda like we always do. Palay. 
All right. Before time itself, the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywilds. The Fey have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed, in the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin. And out flowed the pale, swallowing all in its path. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale. Only to be severed from assistance, as the pathway between realms collapsed. But ah, uh, perhaps not all is lost. For Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment, humanity's final beacon. Your path thither is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit? Or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward and rebuild anew? All right, so I think you kind of got a gist there of the storyline, right? Hum humans and Fae kind of lived together for a while, and then something happened. We got a little greedy. We wanted a little bit more, uh, you know, typical humans. And uh, the Fae were like, screw you guys, and kind of like bugged the fuck out, uh, leaving us to our own devices. And then this like evil stuff called the Pale kind of came in and started uh, wreaking havoc. Uh, and then from what it seems like, some of us managed to get through some of these portals into uh, different Fae dimensions uh, while leaving the left uh, overs of humanity back in Nightingale, which is like our shining beacon city. Uh, and so I am now in a new realm. And I need to get back to Nightingale. That's my goal, right? I think that's the overall goal of this game. It is your typical open world survival crafting game with a few nuances, i.e. the portals for one and the way that we get our tech stuff. There's no tech tree. There's no leveling up that I noticed in the little brief playthrough I played uh, on, on the other uh, profile, Natalia. Uh, you have to go buy all of your blueprinty stuff, all the things to expand. Uh, you have to travel to other realms to then go to vendors to get the other stuff and things, as we shall see. But the big point of this game that's going to put it separated from all of the other open world survival games is you don't just travel from biome to biome to biome like you normally can. This one, you have to go solve puzzles, defeat certain dungeony enemy things in order to get the ability to craft these realm cards. And we will get a machine that will let us craft these realm cards. But the realm cards are going to depict what biome we're going to and then what modifiers that biome has. And that's pretty cool. That means there's a hell of a lot of different possibilities for different biomes that we can go to. So we're going to kind of go through the tutorial together a little bit. We may cut bits and parts out of this. Uh, but my words steer your steps. Yes, Puck, I'm coming. I'm trying to talk. Jesus. Uh, so this is going to help explain some of the story a little bit more. So I want to include some of this in. Uh, but the tutorial is pretty good about uh, helping you out. And I mean, look at this environment already. I love these games that have been coming out lately. Obviously, they're not fully fleshed out. This is a op I mean, early access game. Very early access. Uh, so there is a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed about it. How now, fleshling? With a wonder you lost. In our but it already shows promise. I mean, listen to that voice acting. Oh, and the environment looks so good. The fuck, look at the fire. Can I climb it? I'm climbing at the fire. Get off the fire, you stupid Esmeralda. Jesus. I'm showing haste, Puck. So, Puck's name is also Robin, I guess. But yes, look at how beautiful this looks. 
Who's sniffing out my despair? What's going on, Puck? Where are you at? Hey, there you are. I passed you, buddy. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hi. Hi. Look at this Fey dude with his little, his little pointy shoes. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. I come with I do offer refuse to be snuffed out. you to a safer realm. Oh, thanks, and buddy. And death, unlike so many of your kin. Take these bloodstained cards. Gross. Play them and let amiable bond be drawn between. Fae yeah, dude, we're like homies, fleshy. bruh. Give me your hands. Aw, we we're gonna shake. We're gonna hold hands. We're gonna I hug. I shall restore amends. Almost it. Uh, I, I don't speak Fey. What the fuck does that mean? Hurry yonder toward portal and apparatus so you, bear child of Earth, might abscond this nightmare. Okay, I'm gonna run as fast Travel as my little legs can carry me. Byway swiftly. Across the divide, a greater gift awaits. Nice. Partnerships with we Fey afford many wonders yet unseen. Okie dokie, dude. So do I have to uh, venture into the realm byway? Okay, so here's, uh, we're gonna be eventually be able to craft something like this, I think. Um, but all the portals are gonna be kind of sort of similar to this in various different ways, but this machine will always be near them. And then here's where our cards will show up. So as we gather various different cards, we'll have various biome cards, but we click and drag them onto here. And you can see it says, play this card to seek a realm lush with forest. The first discovered realm was a lush forest, misleading Red Cross Knights into believing the Fey worlds were analogous, analogous, and, and, and same, similar. <laughs> the first habitats, how wrong they were. Uh, and there's no factions present in here. It'll show you like kind of what different, uh, like see NPCs and creatures would be there. Uh, and then this one is the byway card. And so this one is like the modifier. So play this card to seek a small transient realm. Dim diminutive wilds exist that serve as pathways. Small, small wilds exist that serve as pathways between larger realms. Like a secret passage between two glades from the Fey, Red Cross Knights learned they were called byways. So Red Cross, I guess, were kind of like the original realm walkers. So now we're going to hit R and open the portal and look at this cool ass animation. Fly. Ah! Oh, and there's the some bad dudes right there. Yeah, fist of cuffs. Yeah, yeah. I got a little gloves on. Oh, shit, we're going. Hey, peace out. All right. Looks like we're about to join the Forest Byway Realm, and it is 6.10 a.m. How handy that we know the time. And inside here, we're going to find deer and fish goats and scions of the Gigaunus, the Elder Spoils and Catapelose. Oh, but look at this. Our first realm. Look how pretty. Okay, so here's Puck. He's going to tell us some more stuff and things to do. Oh, hey, hi, dear. Bye, dear. Meow, meow. Okay, we're getting distracted. Found thyself among the fortunate few I feel very fortunate. Thanks, Puck, for helping me out. Noxious proliferation. Can you use smaller words, please? Nightingale still stands, but Earth teeters on the brink. And these wilds are far from hospitable. That's all right. I'm far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question. Will thou be a survivor? Riddle me this, puck man. Yes, I can survive. The gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. Purloined off stole the corpse it, stole it. You stole it off the walker. corpse. Keep these like close companions. I will try my best. With the man-made network sundered, entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms oh so did we as humans make all these various portals i guess with your equipment in the interim i hear your stomach snarling dude i am pretty freaking Take hungry reprieve from but i'm a fat man so and I'm gorge yourself hungry. with a feast fit for a fleshling <laughs> preserve yourself and i shall return that's what, I, that's what i'm gonna call myself from now on whenever i go to work I'm, like, we fleshlings. Oh, under this mask, you Yeah, wonder, dude, is there like a face there? Or what's going on? I am Puck. Robin to some. Like Hood? Oberon's or merry Batman. wanderer of the night. The last furtive fay to grace your kind. I, I don't know much about fay lore. Who's Oberon? All right, acquire red berries. So, raw, raw berries, not red berries. I mean, they could be red, but raw berries. So let's kind of go over a little bit of stuff and things first. So tab opens up our menu here. You can see our equipment rating. So this is kind of what you could think of as 
XP technology kind of showing uh, is our equipment level. So that's going to determine how well we're going to do in various realms. So currently we're at equipment level three because our equipment uh, sucks. Uh, so this is going to all be upgraded eventually. Here's our backpack. We do have a weight limit um, and you do start struggling with your weight. Uh, here's where all of our realm cards will show up what, that we have. And then essence is the currency uh, in the game. So we'll see that here in a little bit. Uh, of course, here's all our player stats over here. And as you notice, there is nowhere for a tech tree or XP leveling, which kind of sucks. Uh, here, not, not really sucks. It's actually done pretty well in this game. But I'm so used to tech trees and leveling. It's like it's the standard of how well am I doing in a game. And I don't have that anymore. Um, here's our hot bar. Anything from six to zero is going to be things that we can hold in our offhand and eat or have a torch or things like that. And then one through five are going to be like our weapons and tools. Uh, the map uh, is uh, each realm is going to have its own little map and various different points of interest are going to show up for us. Although you can also see like kind of the terrain level, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we'll be able to look at any kind of points like here's the portal that we're uh, currently at. Right. Is that where we're currently at? Uh, I don't know. We, oh, no. Here we are right here. There's me, and there's uh, the next portal. Uh, guidebook, we can go through all the different craftables that we've learned, all the building stuff we've learned, uh, any questy stuff we have, like currently we have to acquire raw berries. Uh, there's a whole bunch of challenges, like you can get NPCs to be uh, helpful, and oh my god, let me tell you, I got one so far. Super helpful. They fight, they chop, they grind, they mine, they craft, they build, they do everything. It's awesome. And it doesn't look like they require food to eat or sleep, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, and then, of course, there's building challenges, all sorts of damn challenges, right, that'll give us stuff to do if we kind of lose our way of what we're doing. A glossary of like freaking everything in the game so amazing uh, codexes of just different stuff and things like that we need to learn how to do even tutorial stuff and things if we get lost uh, all the various essence traders that's pretty awesome uh, and then you know, let's go back into that party and social so this is a multiplayer game solo it is also online be aware that this is an online game only so you have to be connected to the internet to be able to play even by yourself uh, there we go. Um, I haven't changed any system settings or anything, uh, so that's that. So let's go ahead and ramp, go uh, just E on some some burras, and there's always going to be a lot of like helpful hints when you first get stuff. So you can hold small items like food and torches in your offhand. Press F to use your equipped offhand item. If you have slots available, it's automatically going to stick it in there for you. You can go tab and then take it off uh, by just clicking and dragging if you want to. Uh, but let's go ahead and eat some of these real fast and stave off our hunger a little bit. And we need to acquire rock sticks and raw berries. So these are sticks on the ground here. Boop, boop, boop. Boom. Uh, how many sticks do I have? Three. I got three of three. And we need some more berries and some rockages. Let's see if we can't find some real fast. Hey, what's up, deer? Rah. So these are going to be stone blocks that we're going to have to mine. These are the rocks, the little little patches like this plenty of rocks now let's get some more raw berries um hello berries can can you oh show up faster this is why most people don't ever show the tutorials because it's it's a slog to to find the stuff right off the bat there we go and one more nailed it quest complete now we need to build a campfire and you know what we're going to do? Uh, let's look at our map. How close am I to the portal? It is behind me. Because we're going to be going back this direction anyway. So we might as well just set up our little uh, camp and base right over here. Close to where we're going to be leaving. This looks like a good enough spot if you ask me. All right. So to build, we hit B. That brings up our build menu. Anything that we're able to build will be underneath these different tabs. And it shows you how many recipes you have. So I click on this one. So this is a campfire and there's all sorts of modifiers we're going to be able to place on all these various machines. Like this looks like looks like there's a lot to this. So we're going to say place and then we can just place it on the ground with our left click, right click to get rid of uh, trying to place another one. And now it's just going to put down a blueprint. And so we can either, you know, hold for more options to add, you know, resources from our inventory uh, or we can just hit E once and put all the rocks we have in there. 
So, okay, well, well, I can just talk about this myself. I don't need to do that. So crafting on any bench in this game is uh, sometimes multiple like this one. I can add fuel down here and then I can craft up here on the bucket. Or if I just hit craft, uh, I can select the roasted berry menu and then I can actually say manage fuel from here. So we're just going to take all of this uh, plant fiber, say ignite, uh, close this out. And then we can say autofill if we want to, or I can click here. Uh, actually, no, I guess I just want to say autofill. Autofill, so there's five berries in there. Hit R to craft, and we can actually back out of this, which is nice. I hate having to stand at a crafting bench. So, boom, E to collect berries. Done! And now we want to eat them. So, number seven is our roasted berries, and F, F, not punch. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, there we go. Hey, hi, Puck. We're, we're back, uh, buddy. You've avoided embarrassment by Have I, though? off starvation. From I'm a pretty embarrassing scent, guy. Your meal was no summer court banquet. It sure as hell wasn't. But at least you persist. But I do like street food more than you know. We must carry forth food. whilst this byway is aligned okay. with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. You got it, dude. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sand. Are you saying wait. time? Time, time, the time, time, time doesn't wait. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's extinguish this. Uh, hold for more options. Uh, can I add fuel from inventory? And give me that back. <laughs> I don't know if our inventory goes with us during the tutorial. Hi, dears. Bye, dears. Whoa, whoa. We simmer down there. Locate the realm's portal and venture into the desert byway realm. E to open up. We're going to go desert card. They're giving them to us in the tutorial. So, boom. There we go. So, now we're going to go to a... Uh, bygone Geo Arcanists frequented deserts. Jesus, too many big words. Relishing sunlight playing across the sands to give the illusion of unending horizons. Long ago forsaken by the Fey, yet vestiges remain. Oh, are they gonna come at me again? Are bros? Are the bros gonna come? Hello? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, look at this cool ass portal. Okay, in we go. All right, so we are in a desert. So NPCs, there's Sarah Eoten, Timber Not the Young, and I can't. I'm not gonna pronounce any of these names. Oh boy, look at this sun. Oh, that sun is gonna be. Oh look, I'm I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. Let's get in the shade. Yes, there we go. Oh shade, shade makes us. Oh shade makes us calm. Hey, um, pop, can you not stand in the sunlight, bruh, bruh? Can you let, let, let's get over in some shade? Can you come over here, dude? He Puck, hello. Where you at? There you are. Oh, good. You're in the shade. Summer runs through my being as blood runs through yours. Um, you're made Yet up of I've seasons. I've seen that dew men call sweat flow like I sweat a lot. in our deserts. We've already said I'm fat. This heat devours spirit and life alike. I lived in Las Vegas for a while. Yes, it does. How be it? Enduring the elements is part of the realm walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. I want to be hot, though, Puck. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Yeah, I won't. But Best you're going to make me do manual labor in the heat? prowess and avoid exhaustion. While okay, I if I got to do work, I'll try. Way. All right, okay, so we need to build a stick tent. So if we look uh, up here uh, into, not there, there, B... Survival. So we basically are going to need 12 sticks and six plant fiber. So let's go off and collect some sticks. Which does this? Did I keep? Uh, yeah, it looks like I did keep my inventory from before. Uh, is this plant fiber? Okay. Uh, uh, you know, we should probably look at the um, the Maparino and see where we need to go. But we might as well also just gather. Hi, can I pick those up? Thanks. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's let's get into some shade over here where we can also get some more. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got some more rocks. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the map M. So our portal is just right up around this hill right here. So let's go ahead and just keep collecting some stuff and things on the way and get on over there. And hopefully there's no bad things around. Oh my God, we're getting hot. We need to get out of here. Oh, I wonder if like we can never get like water... Like, before coming into an environment like this and carry water with us to cool us down. Oh, ow, ooh, oh, God, ow, oh, God, I'm taking fall damage. And, um, oh, the portal's on the lake, right? 
Yes, it's right there. There we go. So we can just set up shop right here. And just gather everything. It's kind of actually nice that we don't have to gather, um... We don't have to, like, gather in order to gain experience. Or to, like, unlock a specific recipe. We can just gather to our heart's content. Okay, place. And this is kind of rather big. Um, this is kind of awkward. There's lots of trees and stuff in my way. Um, hello? Oh, I can place it. <laughs> I can place it at the portal. I don't want to do that. Hello, can I have like a place to place this? Um, oh, right here. Let's go right here. Boom, placed. And E auto add, it's all made. Wait, is it gonna make? What's going on here? Do I need to like clear out some stuff and things from underneath it? There, there it goes. It just took like 500 million years to place. Got it. Okay, being underneath shelter, shield realm walkers. Build a sheltered bed roll. So that's our next one. Oh my God, and I gotta eat as well. Uh, resting place and we can just stick this bad boy right there oh by the way that was six sticks and six plant fiber so we can do a short rest or long rest so we can just go up to it and click e if it is nighttime it will give us the option for a long rest which means we can sleep through the night uh, rest is super important in this because it will you will start taking damage and stuff if you don't rest for long enough so, okay, so we've covered the rest. Now, I haven't found any food, have I? Oh, I found one berry or three berries. F, let's eat these. I hear animals. I hear animals. Okay, so it wants us to make a makeshift wood axe, mining pick, hunting knife, sickle, and a torch. Let's see how much... It's... Oh, what the shit are you? What the shit are you? There's a walking tree spider. I don't like it one little bit. Ah. I'm gonna get up a little higher. I d oh, hello. Hi. What are you? A chest. Hubris infusion, health regen. Ooh, restful potion. Potion. Ah, and a weighted card. Play this card to yeah. Play this card to increase the damage you deal and the efficiency of your harvesting while weighing down your body and limiting the efficiency of your stamina. Ah, huh, that's kind of weird. So this is a modifier for a world where it would mean that I do more damage and I'm better at harvesting but I have less weight and I move slower. Well, I can't move as fast. That's, that's, that's weird. I don't like that. Okay, all right, Um, but yes, there's gonna be chests all throughout here too. So let's go to C for crafting, and then you can see we can we can cook some stuff uh, at the, uh, the little uh, uh, cookery. You can see right there, it shows on the right, like if I click mix plants, there you go, campfire. We don't wanna cook though. We want to make a hunting knife, craft. Do I have the stuff? Did I, cra I crafted it. Uh, mining pick, craft. Oh, we're out of plant fiber. We're out of freaking plant fiber. I gotta go. Hey, you weird stick dude. Um, we're cool, right? We're, we're cool. Huh. Don't hurt me. Oh god, I don't like the sound of him. Are these the berry plants? They are apparently are not. They're just plant fiber. I need some more food, people. Okay, that should be enough plant fiber. So, you can see that the weapons now have now gone down into my hotbar automatically for me as we crafted it. I don't like, like I don't like that dude. Uh, C, crafting, um, makeshift items. We are now onto the sickle, craft, torch, craft, wood axe, craft. Oh, what the, oh Jesus Christ, Puck, you scared the fuck out of me. Oh, oh, but look, now you can see that I've got my torch in my offhand and if I hit number seven, now the torch is gone, but I'm still holding my knife. What in the shit are you, you weird ant looking motherfucker? Okay, speak with Puck. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still, I expected more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel. What do you expect, dude? Hold. You threw me in the middle of nowhere and I had to like grab shit on my own. I'm freaking not a carpenter or a metal smith, dude. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach well, our that, destination. Yeah, proper. Hopefully, hopefully can, it affords the perfect setting. Can I find some people to for, do this for me? I don't want to do work. Well, we shan't ruin the surprise. Oh, you're gonna surprise that me, is huh? Depart. And speak of your ill-favored constructs okay, no more. Okay, Jesus. One final byway of muck and mire. Then this path of beginning shall fork unbounded into whatever endings you seek. Oh, okay, Puck. All right, so here is the portal for this area. So let's go straight on into it. I'm sure there's other cool things to look at inside the uh, tutorial areas. But um, I just want to get on to surviving by myself. Ooh. Release Hope Echo. 
Oh, it's a letter. Um, I'm going to pause. Read it if you want to pause. Um, I've already read this. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, where's the um, portal controls? Here we go. In the water. By the way, check it out. If I'm in the water, I start getting wet. And I guess wetness uh, is not good. It's not favorable. Not nice. Swamp card. And then the byway card again. Uh, boots sinking into the muck, an image known by all realm walkers who've tread the swamps. This card seems to stare at its keeper like a creature lurking in the mire. That sounds um kind of terrible, to be honest. Okay, bad guys. We we still far away enough away from the bad guys. Uh, going. Oh, whoa! The structures. Look at these crazy structures. Whoa! It almost looks like a satellite uh, drum up there or something. What the heck is it? Whoa, hey, these plants look uh, pretty dead. All right, okay. Uh, all right, Puck, what do you got to say now? If not for Astaroth's decree... Who the fuck's Astaroth? This trek would have been as easy as peach pie. We Fae are forbidden from consorting with your kind. What are you doing talking And while my it? amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. But enough prattle. You are talking a lot, dude. The bound guard fey archways that align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try to leave this final byway. Oh, so I'm gonna have a little like a little mini boss-ish fight before I get to the While next I area? Know Thanks. A man's impulse is to flee. Without pluck, your shame. Oh, I'm a whoop Once this fen is within our wake. A fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Ahead lie relics of humanity's future. All right, so we need to acquire bones, and we need to acquire hide. So uh, let's just uh, get on down and kick some 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 kangaroo-looking uh, rat things' butts. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, you want to go? Would you stand still, you kangaroo? Oh, God, I'm out of stamina. Uh, so there is uh, kind of a, a little dodge with the right click, which is nice. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, um, these these enemies are kind of a little uh, little little dumb. So as long as we have our knife in our hand right, we can walk up to these guys and we can just kind of just uh, keep holding left trigger until you see their body disappear. And then you notice there's multiple items on the ground. We don't have to pick up each one individually. We can just long hold E and bam, it picks everything up. That's so nice. All right, so we need two more of these dudes or, or something, just any any kind of thing. Let's look at the map real fast, by the way. Oh, it's all the way on the other side of this uh, swamp. Get out of my swamp! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, oh, no, I need a predator skin, not uh, not this skin. Okay. Okay, oh, oh, right there. There we go. Hey, hey, jack wagon, come here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, come out of the water. Come out of the water. You ain't no... Uh, are you dead? You're dead. Okay. Oh. See, they're not really that big of a deal. Ain't that big of a deal at all. Okay, one more boy we gotta find. Or lady. I don't I don't know what they look like. Oh, shit. We're out of stam. Hey, what up, homie? Hey, uh, I can sidestep you as well. Oh, oh, out of stam. Stam. Where are you going, guy? Get out of the tree. Okay, all right. Last guy to get. And there we go. All right, so now we need to make a craft a makeshift Capulet. Like Lord and Lady Capulet from Romeo and Juliet. Ah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You're dead. Ha, 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 ha. Get wrecked, fool. Um, did I get him? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we just need to keep heading around here, right? Yes. But first... Am I, am I cool? Um, am I good? Nobody's gonna come get me, right? So makeshift cape capelet. <gasps> I need plant fibers. We need the fibers of the plant. Don't I have a sickle? Isn't that what this is? Oh yeah, look that. The sickle's gonna get more plant fiber than just my bare hands. This should be all that we need, to be perfectly honest. I have no more stems. See, craft capelet. Craft. And I think it should have auto... Uh, nope, it's right here. Makeshift capelet. So we can right-click on it, and we can extract. So here's something. Everything that's in this game, we can extract, and then that's going to give us the essence, which is going to be the money, which is pretty awesome because you can just go to a trader and just m harvest everything around the trader, turn it into essence, and then and then go buy everything. It's awesome. 
Uh, so we're going to equip this, though, because that's a level 10, and this was a level 6. So now we went from 3 to 6. How awesome are we? Oh, what is... What are we... Okay, okay, we're good. We're good to go. Acquire healing salve. Acquire roasted meat. So we're going to need a campfire for that. But first, I'm going to go up in this tower, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of looty looty, because there's lots of loot up here. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, we need our knife. Uh, is something trying to come up at me? I don't think so. All right. Um, you know, I, I really should just be pressing on because of time, but I can't help myself. Uh, what in the hell? Oh, those are iron ingots. Or not iron ingots, it's just ingots. Open the chest. We've got some infusions and some ingots. Take all. You know what? I'm not going to do this. For the sake of the tutorial, um, yes, there are chests and all sorts of other stuff here. Uh, you can come up here and explore all of these. The tutorial worlds are pretty much exactly the same uh, for everyone. So, yes, the, the loot will be a little bit different uh, for each person, obviously. Um, but what's nice about these is if we start getting weighed down, we can just go extract, confirm, and bam, I got more essence. So yes, okay, you know what? Screw that. Let's just uh, let's get on with what we're doing. We're gonna make our way over to the portal, which is just this direction. Hey buddy, do you wanna die? You're you're not so bright. Oh god, he hit me. He hit me. Oh, I'm out of stamps. <laughs> I got you. Okay, keep going. Uh, we're going north. And I think that's the what hello? I heard hello? Why am I hearing fight noises? Oh, God, game. Stop doing that to me. I just want to get to the portal. Leave me alone. God, just trying to clean my room. Okay. Um, Is this the portal right... Wait, wh where am I at? Hello? Bueller, uh, this way. We'll just set every... Yeah, there it is, up on the hill. Yeah, we'll set everything up that we need to do up on this hill instead of having... Oh, Jesus Christ, kangaroo boy. Whew. Scary little rat fink. Oh, here's another one. Hey, 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 buddy. Uh, can, yes, thanks. Thanks. I need your sweet, delicious... Oh, you want to go, too? We can go. Um, oh, shit. Oh, he hit me. He hit me. Good grief. Would you die already? Thanks. Okay, all right, that's all that. We really don't need to pick up all this mates and stuff. Okay, so right, there's another hippity hoppity boy over there. Okay, so we don't need to really uh, do the resting part. We just need a campfire place and bam, and there we go. Fill it up with rocks, get in here. And it wants us to make three healing salves. So healing salves require bones and fiber. So we basically need three bones and three fiber. So, oh, we don't need to make that many. Just need to make three. Uh, manage fuel. Uh, let's just stick that in there. Actually, you know what? Let's take that back out. Let's put the sticks in there. And then ignite. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi, 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 hi. I, I know I placed something in your in your land, in your area, and you, you're agitated and irritated, and you don't want to deal with it, but I'm busy! Please tell me it's not about to rain. It better not rain. Okay. Uh, are we making craft items? Oh, did it? Wait, did it give them to me? No, it did not. It didn't even craft them. Healing salves. I had to back out because of uh, stupid homeboy there. Craft. There we go. Now we're crafting. Now we're doing it. Now we're now we're talking stuff. Hey, and there's our healing salve right there. So if we uh, look at this healing salve, each one of these things, there's multiple different kinds of items in the game as far as like uh, quality of an item. So as you're crafting. Be aware of what items you're trying to craft with because even food, if you have a higher quality item of meat, it's going to give you better attributes than the regular kind of meat. So like in the case of this one, it's just typical plant fiber and bones, uh, but we're going to get uh, 10 health regen uh, per minute and it's going to last for five seconds. So not very much health regen at all on that, which is kind of terrible, but that's fine. Um, and now, no, don't extinguish the flame. Now we need to go back in and craft, and it wants us to make some roasted uh, mates. So let's go autofill, and let's just do uh, three of those. Craft. Wait for them to craft up, and then we'll be done with that one. All right, there we go. Woo! So now we have all of our stuff. Use essence dust to restore any worn tools or clothing in your inventory. 
So let's go ahead and first of all, we're gonna go number eight and we're gonna eat all of this food because, oh my God, our health is low and our food is super low. And so we're gonna just let that restore. So now if we go tab and go into our inventory, uh, we really don't have anything other than our makeshift hunting knife that's bad, but you can right click on it and you can repair and or unequip it. So we're gonna say repair. And this is gonna require this essence that we've been getting. So if you're like, if you have a tool that's messed up, you can say right click on this rock and then extract it. And then now we have, you know, uh, another seven additional essence if we really needed to repair everything in, in a pinch. You know, rocks are pretty easy to get. But there we go. So we've repaired everything. We've got our food all done and eaten. We've got some healing salves. And now, Mr. Puck here, by the way, these, there's no, like, deconstruct on it. You just have to kind of whap it until it breaks. And it will give you some of the resource back. You've hey, Puck. stolen life to preserve your own. A necessity, lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men like dandelion wine. Never tried dandelion wine. That sounds weird. Now, I've led you about around. Through bog, through bush, through break. Through briar, you, and you, you forth with me? You me? a like, temporal ca car realm breaks? of abeyance awaits. All Once right. First, you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. Ah, no need for words, only thought. Let's be honest, my guy. I don't want to be in a bog. I don't want to be hot. We're gonna go the with the forest. You knew this already. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Crack their pitiable little skulls. <laughs> simmer, simmer down there, Mr. Show Murderer. No Jesus. <laughs> All right. So it wants us to come over here, and let's first, uh, we got another hope echo. So you can read this and pause. Oh, I can't move. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, so open up Realm Cards Machine. We're going to go to the forest. And uh, we don't currently have anything other than what he's giving us. So the abeyance card, the abeyance is going to be like our home area. We're always going to be able to go back to the abeyance. Play this card to seek a realm of minimal danger suitable for the construction of an estate. Not even Nightingale's oldest ma uh, magicians have been able to trace the origins of this card. The image imprinted upon the paper brings intense loneliness to mind. And there is a faction here, so we're going to find our first NPCs here. And then this is the uh, NPC that's going to give us kind of like, eh, I don't really questy stuff, but like she's got information, right? And then look at all the potential creatures we can find. So it's going to be pretty crazy. Oh, I forgot to, um, I forgot to actually put open the portal. All right, open portal. And now we're about to get hit by some bad dudes. Remain vigilant. Oh, I'm going to remain extra life. vigilant, my guy. Come on, come on. Hello. Hi, bad guys. I can't venture into the uh, abeyance realm until I fight these dudes. <laughs> I got some cheap shots off. Oh, I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can only dodge. I can't block. Okay, let's, let's take care of that dude. Oh, I'm out of stamps. I'm out of stamps. Oh, I can punch with my left, left, uh, my F button. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm out of stamps again. Yeah, get wrecked, fool. We got another one? We got any more? Any more dudes? Hello? Hi, Bueller? Oh. Oh, I should probably heal with seven. You know, I wonder if I have my flame, if I can set them on fire. I wonder. Oh, no, I can throw torches, though? What the heck? Oh, God. Oh, they're hitting me. Oh, I'm, I'm scrambling. I'm scrambling. Seven. Uh, I don't want... Okay, you're dead. Oh, oh, I'm out of stamps again. I am doing a terrible job here, y'all. Okay. Ooh, they're... Okay, those guys are all dead. All right. Hey, the portal's open. Let's go. Let's go. Realm Walker, your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. I will try my best, Puck. Realms, and rebuild all that has been lost. I'll try my damnedest. Ha, second playthrough. I still got goosebumps. 
I always love games that have great introductions like that. And a tutorial did a pretty good job of kind of showing you all the stuff and things you're going to kind of deal with uh, by coming through here. So those are pale creatures. Those are the creatures that are like the evil that we're going to have to deal with. All right. So this is going to be our first world. And it is a pretty one at that. Look at this world. Oh, I hear Puck. Hey, Puck. Ah. <sighs> We made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. Tutorial done. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey. Left in limbo. Not unlike you. I know, dude. Always, How always fitting. in limbo. And thus, here is yours to put down roots. I will plant my butt on the ground, my guy. But beware. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Stygians. Laying foundations will keep you a in is, a child of Earth. While you play Carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds. I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Okie dokie. All right, so that is kind of the tutorial done. There is still a little bit of a tutorial left. Uh, as far as if we go into build, it wants us to build this estate right here. This is kind of like, think of your flag uh, or, or anything that uh, establishes like your base parameter, like your pal box and pal world. Um, so this is something we're going to be making. But I think for the time being, we're going to call it a video there. We have gone through a ridiculous amount by going through that tutorial. And uh, there's a lot to explore here. I think I'm going to make my way to the center of the map somewhere here around uh, E4, D4. Uh, that's close to the, the portal. Uh, that's close to where the... Uh, wow, there across water. It's close to where... Actually, you know what? Mm, we might go like right here. We're, we'll find a good spot to go because uh, there's just so much stuff to do. Being center of the map will give us uh, the best chance to get around. Oh, but that's a lot of work to do. We're going to have to collect a bunch of stuff and things because I think we also uh, now have... Uh, nope, we don't. We pretty much just have our tent and everything. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to invite Big Red Jeep to join us. Saucism, if you will, if you watch my Minecraft series. One and the same guy. And uh, I think we're going to wait for him to get through the tutorial, join us on this map, and then we'll go off together and start our adventure through the realms as a duo. I think that sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this very first look at Nightingale. I think this is going to be a blast. Obviously, it's an early access. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to need work. Uh, I really hope that maybe they take it off of online for solos, but I understand why they don't uh, because that way you can take your solo game and, and just immediately open it up as a server for your friends to join with you. Um, so I understand. It keeps it on their servers, makes it easier to deal with. Uh, instead of having to assign a whole bunch of, uh, you know, servers for everyone. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to call it there. I'm just going to gather up a whole bunch of stuff while I'm waiting for Saucism. And then when he gets here, we'll head off and go find a base location. And uh, we'll record all that uh, craziness together. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you had a blast and enjoyed in this as much as I am. Thank you very much. Don't forget to leave a like. You know, subscribe, you know, comment down below and, uh, you know, share with uh, all of the Fey Wilderness. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ta-ta for now. Bye!